All right, so before I leave, I'm going to teach you how to make lentil soup. For anybody who has had my lentil soup and liked it, you can watch exactly and see exactly how I make it. So, number one, got these lentils, um, just a bag of lentils, nothing special, 16 ounces. It can be any brand at your local grocery store, no big deal. All right, then you're gonna wanna like sort the lentils, you know, just like take a look around and take out ones that look bad. And here are some examples of ones that look bad. Just like little stone ones, ones that look like they won't cook well. So just take them out and put them all in a bigger bowl. And here we are, nice big bowl of clean lentils. And here's the last of the 16 ounce bag, that's it. All right, so after you have your lentils in a bowl, we're gonna take some water. Cold water works best. And just rinse them. Get in there. And wash it just like you would with rice. Just kinda wash it. And you can strain it if you want to, or just dump out the water with the hand. Um, so, it's getting nice and clean, there's some of that on there. So after you've rinsed it a few times, you wanna keep them submerged in just a little bit of water so they don't dry out. All right, so these two are Mirapods. This one I bought from a store, and this one I just cut up myself. So to give you some reference, together this is about one carrot, a bunch of celery, and about one onion all together. And when I we're, we're gonna take that, put it in there with some olive oil, and we're gonna sizzle that up before we add the rest of this stuff. But just so you know, um, we got some beef broth and beef bouillon if you're vegan. You can substitute just water and some salt, maybe a bouillon substitute. And here are all our spices. All right, so we're gonna put some olive oil in the pan, in the big pot, and just dump our two mirepoix in. Again, these are like 16 ounces mirepoix on each one, so about two quarts. And we're just gonna mix it up and just take some more olive oil, put it in there. So in this part, we are just adding the beef broth in, and you can refill it with water when you're done. All right, then we're going to take the tomato paste, just put it about the entire thing, maybe three quarters of it, just stir it in real nice so it so you can see here, I've left these out for a little bit of time and they're starting to dry up and take in the water. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Then I'm gonna add them right to the bowl. I'm just gonna drop the lentils in. A little garlic salt here. All right, so here I am adding in the water. I refilled the beef broth container. I'm dumping it back into the soup. Right here I open the pepper, put some in, put some salt in. It's a good amount, not too much. And then now I'm starting to add some oregano, parsley, and just a little handful, just like dump it into my hand and then take a big pinch. Do that with all the ingredients, thyme, rosemary, oregano, parsley. Four bay leaves, one, two, three, four, perfect. Just from a different perspective, this is the thyme. Did about the same with every spice. It's about the exact same, and again, this is another very important part, crushed red pepper, red pepper flakes. It's completely up to you how much you wanna use. I like to use a lot to give it some kick. So I just kind of... Maybe a little bit more than that. That should be about good. Now if you're using beef bouillon like I do, just take a little bit of soup, get it in a bowl. And I like to take a heaping tablespoon. Just mix that in. Once you got it mixed all in, I'm gonna add it back right into the soup. Take it. And just dump it back in. 
Get a little swish. So in about one hour, we're gonna check it again and see if the vegetables are nice and soft. So we'll check back in about one hour. So I just like to bring it up to a boil one more time, add in a few more ingredients, give it a stir, let the new flavor come out. All right, just gonna give it a little taste here. Mm. See, it's perfect. All right, so you take a little feta cheese, put it in the lentil soup, and bon appetit.